Hi friends, it's Pastor Harley from the Broadway Church. I'm reading today out of Acts chapter 15. If we're reading, if you're reading together through the Bible with us, you've come to Acts chapter 15. You see they're having a debate because it seems that Gentiles, non-Jews, are receiving the Holy Spirit and they're believing in Christ and there's, there's a big a part of the church in Antioch as the original Jewish believers ever were. And Peter has something to say in the debate. In 15.7 it says, and after there had been much debate, Peter stood up and said to them, Brothers, you know that in the early days God made a choice among you, that by my mouth the Gentiles should hear the word of God and believe. Now there's something about, we, we see the, the disciples engaged in, in debate. Uh, they're covering very, very careful points of the law. Uh, they're wondering what the, what the ramifications are going to be if, if this change takes place in the church. And Peter points out in the midst of this debate, where the point of a debate is to say, which shall we choose, what shall we choose to do? He says, God has already made a choice. There are some things that we debate about, consider, work up in our heads, get into a, a very much of a stew about, and we forget that God has spoken on these things. God has already spoken toward love, toward forgiveness, toward a holiness and heart and life, toward devotion, toward him. A, uh, an attitude of, of brotherly love to our brothers and sisters in the church, and an attitude of openness and calling people to Christ in the world. These are the things we're to be doing. We might find ourselves indeed in some fruitless debates when God has already spoken. What has God already said to you that you're in a place of kind of pretending that there's still some discussion to be had? Peter ends discussion, says, God made this choice. Let God set his, his, his priorities in your life today. Amen.